1993, a team of different science scientists conducted a radical experiment in this undisclosed facility. The scientists had theorized that a human, without access to any senses or ways to perceive stimuli, would be able to perceive the presence of God. They believed that a five senses clouded our awareness of eternity, and without them, a human could actually establish a contact with God by thought. An elderly man who claimed to have nothing to live for was the only test subject to volunteer. The purge him of all his senses of scientists before a complex operation in which every sensory nerve connection to the brain of the surgically served. Although the test subject retained full music muscular function, he could not see, hear, taste, smell, or feel. There's no possibility of way to communicate with or with or even sense the outside world. He was alone in these thoughts. Scientists monitored him as he spoke aloud about his taste of the mind in jumbled, slurred sentences that he could even hear. Even after four days, the man claimed to be hearing hushed, unintelligibly voices in his head, assuming it was an onset of psychosis and scientists paid little attention to the man's concerns. Two days later, the man cried that he could hear his dead wife speaking with him, he, and even more, he could hear communicate back. The scientists were intri intrigued, but were not convinced until the subject started naming dead relatives of the scientists. He repeated personal information to the scientists that they only their dead spouses and parents would have known at this point of sizable portion. For the scientists of the last study, after a week of conversing with the deceased through his thoughts, the subject became distressed, saying the voices were overwhelming in the waking moment. This consciousness was bombarded by hundreds of voices who refused to leave him alone. He frequently threw himself against the wall, trying to elicit the pain response. He begged decided to send sedative so he could escape the voices by sleeping. This tactic works for three days until he started having severe night terrors. The subject repeatedly said that he could see and hear the disease in his dreams. Only a day later, the subject began, began screaming and claw in his non-functional eyes, hoping to sense something in the, cycle, the physical world. The hysterical subject now said his voice of the dead were def defaming the hostile speaking from he of hell and the end of the world. At one point, he yelled, No no For five hours straight, he continually begged to be killed, but the scientists were convinced by he was in the close established contact with God. Another day, he, the subject could no longer from coherent sentences seemingly mad. He started to bite off chunks of flesh from his arm. The scientists rushed into the test chamber and restrained him to be, to be to the table so he could not kill himself. After a few hours of being tied tied of the subject, the head of this he's struggling and screaming he sta he stared blankly at the ceiling and tear drops si silently straight across his face for two for two weeks the subject had had to be manually rehydrated due, due to the constant crying eventually he turned to his head and despite the blindness and focus eye contact with the scientists for the first time in the study he whispered and his vital stop signs stopped there was no apparent cause of the death.